Hello, hello, hello. Still sorting things out. You're here quick. That's one audio port. Let's see. Input is mic. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. That is a little loud, probably. I hope it's not too loud. Okay, a little, little lower. There we go. Hello, hello. And then, oh wait, I have to set this to four bars and then click here. And then that's sorted out as well. Let's uh, go back to uh, the thingy here. Hmm. I wonder if... I think it might actually be nicer if I just stick to um, the browser itself. Window browser. Here, Chrome. There we go. Now we have the question on the screen. Now we can actually do something with that. So now I can do this. Let's see which one is it. It's this one. And then move that over. Um, how do I get the Twitch chat there now? So can I copy this? Can I duplicate this? Add group, copy, copy filters. Ah, it's just as much work as doing it again. Okay, so this is a window browser all right so we'll add another one browser and then no this is different i don't want this one which one is the other one i recognize it but i don't what is this properties yeah, properties for window browser, but it doesn't say what it is. So just a regular window thing. Window capture. Sure, let's make another one. Um, Twitch chat. There we go. Holy smokes. All right. Well, then that works. And now I just have to see if I can get this going over there. This is way too wide. Oh my God. I don't even know if this is something you can read. That's something you guys can read. Is that visible the uh, way it is right now? There we go, because, I don't know, I don't get a reply, so I don't know if you can hear me or not. Test, 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 it doesn't hit the red, so that's good. Um, the thing is, it's kind of flickering, and I don't know why, it's okay, all right. I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. But it's okay, I can read all of this stuff. Um, at some point in my life, I'm gonna figure out the things that I don't need. Because like this doesn't even work. Can I just minus? Yes. What is this? That's over there. I don't need that either. Minus, yes. Fin text, what is that? Hiding, no, we don't need it, get rid of that. Background, that I need, I think, and then background image. Yeah, so we have it like this, but it doesn't stop the flickering, so that's not it. Message on the top left, doesn't show either. And the countdown I can remove. Um, 
OBS is not like the most intuitive, to be honest. Image 2. I don't know what image 2 is. Oh, that's the Minecraft character. Yeah, yeah I can get rid of that. Big video text. Yeah. <laughs> that's correct. Um, we'll delete that too. The less stuff there, the better. Not sure why things are flickering, but okay. All right. So far, so good. And if I browse, it's semi-live. There's a little bit of a delay. The only thing is, hmm, hmm. Hardy gurdy. Okay. Um, epidemic sound. I'm logged in. I don't know any of this music, but we'll see. It does something. Let's go to something loud. Test, test, test. I'm twice the thing. All right. Hey, the interface has changed. Yeah, it is not hitting the yellow and I'm going over the yellow. Hey, the 456, I got some semi-loud music playing right now. Is this music too loud compared to my voice? Would you like it lower? Is it not clear at all? Like, what is your impression right now? Because I am not monitoring anything. Probably a bit lower, okay, okay. Then I understand how this works. How about this? Is this okay? Is this balanced out against my voice? It should just be background music, right? It, it, you shouldn't really have to hear until I go quiet and then you notice like, oh, there's music playing. Yeah, it's probably fine. Can't even hear this myself. Well, we'll uh, I can't even hear it. Did I just lower it? I need something that isn't stupid. Angry and quick and explicit. Excellent. Almighty freedom I chose. Tall tales, my eyes fight, knives and blades over my sight, guide the way over my spite. Maybe that's why that I was just Alright. Now we need um cinematic or something. No, not cinematic. Is there any Final Fantasy stuff here? Just two things. That's not really promising. <sighs> Fantasy game, maybe. This is probably really weird. You know what? Kinda digging it. All right. Yeah, this, this might do for a little bit. Okay, then it's uh, step two. I gotta... Before I start answering questions on this website, which I, I have no idea what the questions are. That's kind of what I want to do. But I think it's nice. I like answering questions, so I might uh, do that. So I'm gonna get a drink and then I'll be right back and I have to set an alarm. So somebody remind me to set an alarm when I get back, please. I'll be right back.
Well, turns out I have tea, coffee and milk, so I'll just go with a little bit of milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I already forgot. Thank you. <laughs> I actually forgot right now. Um, let's see. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go and... You know what? Let's see. Six, seven, that's 50 minutes. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I kind of wanted to do that too, but I didn't want to do that live. <gasps> you got it to work? Okay, okay, four, five, six. Before you get into it, look at the screen. <laughs> I'll show you because the text is Ajax. This is a piece of the text. I only care about what I can show, like a little white border or something, but it doesn't matter. It's about the black thing with the question, but if you click next, the text is gonna be longer <coughs> and it's gonna resize. Um, so when it resizes, that's gonna screw up in OBS and that's the fix that I need. I don't know what the previous question was. Oh wait, um, I wanna answer the question though. Okay, so the question for the people that are lo looking at this and are curious about my answer to the question. <laughs> <laughs> is there something you think that you should do at least once in your life and I've seen the question while I was setting things up and the answer is yes I think the one thing that everybody in the world has to do at least once in their life is travel outside of their comfort zone realize that you're in a bubble that the world is bigger than the square meter you live in so go to a place with a different language, different culture, different economic situation, and it is eye-opening, and I think it, it, I think as a person, you are getting better. You end up coming home with a little bit of a change in your life. So, okay, that's the answer for that one. Uh, what food looks disgusting, but tastes delicious? Actually, a lot of food. <laughs> A lot of food when you actually think about it. I mean, if you have like fried rice with peanut sauce and pieces of chicken, it just looks like diarrhea, but it's really good. <laughs> and some are worse than others, but yeah, okay. Um, anyway, so click on next question and see, look now it's two lines. It's gonna be three or four lines, depending on how big it is. But of course I also zoom in a little bit, right? So, um, so it's readable on the screen. <sighs> so I don't know exactly how to sort this out with uh, OBS. I wanted to test it offline to get all the details. I've already tried a little bit, so I sort of know how it works, but... Cheese and Christmas cake. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about Twitch chat. I see. I see. Well, yeah. I think with custom CSS, you could just, you know, with your inspect right click, you get the text element for the chat. You find out which one it is. And then in the custom one, you can uh, set custom CSS or in the, in the bottom part for custom CSS, you put in the, the unique ID for the Twitch chat. And you can say like uh, plus 20% or something and then the text is a little bigger. Uh, even though the size is the less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Streamlab actually has a, a little widget you can use to like kind of clean everything up. It stops the flickering. Now you have my attention. Why would it flicker though? That's the part that I don't get. Because I'm stupid. So. Because it's part of a backdrop maybe? No, nope, it's this one. Ah! Why can't I resize this any further? 
No! I didn't want to drag it in there. Damn it. All right, I'll just make it. Oh, this is as wide as it gets, I guess. All right, then we'll do this. Chrome being Chrome capturing... Okay, okay. So, we'll resize this. And this is just how it is. All right, the question is... What do I have to fix? I think it's this one. Um, yeah, it's that one. Mm, I can be a little... Oh, no. This one. I'm, I'm doing it inside OBS right now. Well, actually, I, I can do... Oh, my God. It's so nitty about it. Yeah, it's just <laughs> flickering is still happening. <laughs> I don't know. Probably because I'm not some fancy Windows user or whatever. This is what I did. Note to crop um, with alt top and bottom. All right. All right. Music today is provided by a license agreement with Epidepin... Epidepin... <laughs> Epid <laughs> I wanted to say Pandemic. Epidemicsound.com <laughs> Pandemic Sound. <laughs> Quarantine songs for your... <laughs> isolation. <laughs> oh, dude, that's awesome. Hey, I got 60 followers. I'll get to that as well. Oh my god, I didn't even set the alarm yet. All right, Siri, set an alarm for 7 p.m. and not a second later. Okay, it's on. It's on, all right. Siri has my back. Um, I want to give a little bit of a shout out to a couple of peoples, like a peoples, <laughs> people that I, that I always give a shout out to. <sighs> all right, I am so disorganized. And in a second, the music is also done already, so. Wait, did I? Um, nope, I don't think I did. I think, I think this is fine. Yes, it is. What? Why is the live version of what I see in OBS not matching what I see on OBS? What's in the on on screen live right now on Twitch is not how it looks in my OBS. This is crazy. It just <laughs> it just keeps resizing. I give up. I don't care anymore. <laughs> no, I'm not in studio mode. It doesn't matter though, to be honest. But I can try. Studio mode. Well, there we go. Yeah, I see the the, the preview and program and everything is it's exactly the same. I'll leave it there. By the way, doesn't matter. No, but I'm, when I go to Twitch um, uh, stream manager, you have a live preview of what's on Twitch, and the browser does, <laughs> does not always match up with. It's just. This is just the weirdest ever, I swear. I, I don't care. It's... I don't understand why it's not the same, though. Why you be like you be? Alright, alright, next question. Is, if you could dedicate your life to solving one problem, what problem would you choose? Uh... Is this like a math problem or I can't open a jar of jam <laughs> or are we talking like an illness like world peace is that what we go for so anyway um, I think it's a problem that there are, uh, there are too many things to choose from I think what affects most people is that one in four have issues with cancer. If we find like a miracle berry that you just eat and 
cancer goes away, that's something that I would dedicate my life to. I think, because that doesn't help me, it helps everybody, one in four at least. So, that's what I would go for. Alright. What three activities would you rate 10 out of 10? What would you do again? Man. You know that the computer that randomly generates questions is asking me better questions than some people can. That's crazy. 10 out of 10 would do again. Oh, I gotta be... Yeah, waste time on Minecraft is what the 456 is saying. And I can... I think that is actually not a bad answer. 10 out of 10 would waste time again on things that just make you happy. Like a silly game. Uh, you know whatever 10 out of 10 hanging out with uh, certain friends that turn into lifetime friends i would definitely do that again in my life if i had a duo for or something <sighs> one more and i have like four or five things on my mind this is th this is pretty tough that's kind of why I like it. I like finding out what my thoughts are about this. I'll, I'll think about the last one when I get to the... Oh, the music is still playing. It's just slowest or lowest. I don't know what. Hmm. I mean... <laughs> uh, an obvious one is sex, right? 10 out of 10 would definitely do it again. <laughs> And isn't that why we're on Earth? Yeah, I'll go with that one. There you go. Um, all right. Why do we judge our... Ah, what? Why do we judge ourselves by our intentions, but judge others by their actions? That's a stupid question. <laughs> I don't know somebody else, their intentions. All I have are their actions. If I say, hey, I judge you for being a bad person, throwing this brick through that guy's window, and the person says, whoa, hold on, it wasn't my intention. I was aiming for the fence of the guy that I have a fight with, and I accidentally because of a miscalculation, broke a window of the other guy, you know, whatever. You go like, okay, I can still think it's stupid, but I won't judge him on the same level. Once you know intention, you have to adjust your judgment. Um, I don't know. I think the question should be rephrased. I think it should be about why do we judge our own intentions instead of our actions like we do with others. That would have made a little bit more sense, maybe. I think because my actions are the consequences of the intention that I have to do something. If my intentions are to smile with somebody, but the action is a flirt and the other person doesn't appreciate it because that's how it comes across, they'll judge me for that action. They don't know my intention, right? It's the other way around, too. No, I don't like this question. <laughs> what was the last time you climbed a tree? Oh my god! Oh, I got some bad experiences climbing tree. I had a collapsed lung once. Oh boy. I honestly blacked out. Everything went black. It Actually, it went red. And then it went black. I still remember. I fell out of a tree on my back, which like, um, you know, um, I, I lost air, but it collapsed like a lung or something. And uh, I last thing I remember was that my um, mom or my sister was like screaming to like maybe call an ambulance. But before they got to that part, uh, because of whatever they did, I got lucky and 
Um, I was able to inhale once, and from that point forward, it went better. So um, it, it didn't completely ruin me. It was not like a fully collapsed lung. It was like, I don't know what it was, but anyways, I, all I know is that I crawled inside. Anyway, that wasn't the last time I climbed out of a tree, but I got stories like that. Last time I climbed a tree, I remember that I was like 20 something and with a girlfriend and I told her that I used to climb trees like no big deal and she said oh that's nonsense so I climbed a tree <laughs> and then a week later we had a cat that uh, escaped and came, uh, went into the tree and uh, she said oh don't worry Flores will do it and <laughs> I had to climb the tree to get the cat out and I was scared as heck because it was not a good quality tree and I had to go pretty high. So, but that's the last time I climbed a tree to get the cat out. And uh, both times it was like in the period of one week and I didn't uh, climb a tree since I kind of like fell out of a tree. So when I was like way younger. So it was interesting. All right. <clears throat> How have TV shows changed over the years? Oh, I love this question. After this tiny interruption to fix some music. <sighs> what should I go? Should I just go for the, for whatever is playing here? Because uh, this was that, was this the weird stuff? Oh, that's the explicit one. Okay, we'll do the last couple of ones, okay. Um, I've been watching TV forever. <laughs> and, um, I've actually seen the change from it's no longer black and white. That's not what I saw, but I saw that the black and white was not on repeat on TV anymore. It was all about color. And then it was about talk shows or game shows and action shows. And these days it's like reality TV, talk shows and um, like TV that is a movie. And back then any special effect was for a movie and not for TV. And it seems like a TV season has almost the same budget as, a, as an indie movie now. So there's special effects, video effects, CGI, known and expensive actors. And it felt like whatever they were doing back then was super cool. And now if you look back at it, you can tell how janky it is. Because now we all have phones and, you know, augmented reality stuff. We kind of, we kind of know the secret behind everything right you're not impressed as a kid anymore you can kind of see through it now now we're like judging the cgi stuff uh, so the tv thing is more like a movie now and i like it but it's difficult and different yeah it's easier to do better yeah i can do a lot of stuff on youtube with a group of friends and it will be probably better than the a team or something but they had a access to uh, stages and uh, studios and sound engineers and stuff we don't have that so we're not like tv worthy but you could probably do better the stories are all like you know gimmicky and whatever so yeah with a phone and a cheap camera you can do a lot i mean not to take away that uh, i i don't think i can personally uh, make like 12 seasons of the A team or Knight Rider or something <laughs> but um, we can throw a few fun episodes as a parody together and it's pretty good I guess <laughs> wow this question what two totally normal things become really weird if you do them back to back? Uh, I might have to think about this one. Uh, 
I mean... Look, I think you can put a couple of things together that are just weird. I mean, like, doing the dishes and horseback riding, like, that has nothing to do with each other, so it's kind of weird to put those two normal things together, but... Um, you know, dinner and dishes go together really well, that's not weird to put together. So, what's like a, a thing they might be looking for? Oh, man, I'm so tired. Hmm. I don't know. I don't have a good answer. I'm not creative enough right now, apparently. If, uh, if this little video makes it to YouTube, you're watching this on YouTube right now, go down to the comment section. If you see the like button, click it. <laughs> and keep scrolling until you see the comment section. And then um, tell me what you think that which two no totally normal things would become really weird if you put them back to back. Going to a funeral and <laughs> Dude, you just, you just attend a funeral. You're like, oh man, like a family member is suffering. You just start digging a hole next to everybody else. That is dark, dude. Oh. Yeah, examples like that. Leave them in the comment section. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, ooh. I like this one. Where's the last place you'd ever go? Oh, that's that can be insulting. The things that I think in my mind are like, oh, I'm gonna insult people if I say that. Um. Um. I think it means, where's the last place, what's the last place you'd ever go to? Like, wh where do you not want to go to ever? Like, um, like, uh, where, where the garbage goes, <laughs> a landfill or whatever it's called, right? Where you go like, oh, I never will go to that. That's, that's how I think. And the last thing in my, if I would be alive and it's the last place in my life that I want to visit, not a bad question either. Oh no! When I started yawning, I just can't stop, man. Um, where's the last place you'd ever go? Hmm. I mean, anything that's disgusting or something like that is just not at the top of your list of things to go to right i mean as exciting as it is to adventure in chernobyl i really don't want to expose myself to any sort of additional radiation than i already get in my life so if somebody invites me i'll be like ah, i'm good but then again hmm Um, any place where there's like poverty and disease to a point where it's unsolvable like uh, in Haiti after um, that problem there where everybody had um, the, the, the those tents where they the refugees and whatever had to go what is that the right word um, had to go to and everybody just got super sick I probably not want to do that for ever in my life. That, that is so sad to see that and not being able to do anything about it. I, uh, I'd probably go to the other place before I do that. Um, yeah, yeah. And a place that if I would like die and uh, there's the last place I want to go to just before I'm dead. 
I don't know. Um, maybe Japan or something. Himalaya. Eh. See what? See that area? Something different. We don't have mountains in the Netherlands, so uh, yeah. Complete the picture of what's in the world, I guess. No. If you unexpectedly won ten thousand dollars, what would you spend it on? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> to be honest, on bills. <laughs> I'll probably spend it in two months just by having bills. Oh my god, being an adult and having responsibilities suck. Um, so, if it's tax-free money and you don't have any bills pending or any debt that you need to pay off or whatever, and you just have leftover money and you want it out of like, hey, uh, red or blue and you go like blue. Ah, here you go. You got 10,000 bucks. Ooh, now I have it I got it cash in my hand. What do I spend it on in a nice situation? I would probably move I Would find a tiny little bit nicer apartment pay rent and stuff ahead Like a year of rent or something maybe I mean I don't pay that much every month so 10,000 to move including paying for the whole year making a nice deal like hey listening listen I'm moving um, uh, if I just give you this money and uh, I got I don't know 9,000 left or something so a thousand to move my things and buy like some new furniture thing and I got like 9,000 just to pay for the whole year that would actually not be a bad thing because it would give me enough time to save up and pay for the second year and not get into trouble. I, w I wouldn't mind living a little more, a little nicer for a couple of years from what I have now, just to feel a little better. But it's nice to have things, I like fancy things. Probably a nice guitar amplifier and a guitar, a nice left-handed set for myself. Get rid of the stuff that I have and maybe buy a mixer that works with that setup and my computer. So I can take my hobby of playing guitar a little bit more serious. Isn't that crazy that 10,000 barely gets you like a $700 a month apartment? But if, uh, if I, I don't mind paying a little bit more than what I do right now, but it has to be more modern. And if that's like one room less, that's okay, but it has to be like more modern than what I have right now. Or super cozy, like if, if for 700 bucks I could live in a cabin in Canada, I'd do it. I don't think I would have a problem with that. Come on, load. Ten thousand. Side note: It's not enough to do something for your friends. I think if I would buy the guitar stuff and whatever, and I have like three thousand bucks left, I'll probably put two thousand, like one thousand in my normal account, one thousand in a savings account for later, and then maybe spend like a thousand for some family members and maybe a couple of friends or something. But then everybody just gets like one or two hundred bucks. It's, I mean, that's a lot for some people, but if I win a hundred thousand, then at least you can give like, you know, a little bit better money to people. You can have spent 10,000 on 10, or like a thousand for 10 people and then still have 90K left. So 10,000 isn't as much as people think it is, I guess. Maybe if you're 12, but... Yeah, what will the economy of wealthy countries look like in 50 to 100 years? Well, 
the rich know how to stay rich and get more rich and poor people know how to fight for themselves but we're no longer be in a situation where civil unrest can actually cause an economic shift that's big enough to make a difference because the countries have uh, centuries now of training how to control people even in Hong Kong where things are very meh right now uh, ignoring the corona parts the protests there even then it's hard for them to protest properly so the economy of wealthy countries I, even though the overall economy is probably gonna be terrible because seems like that's the logical thing the next step is to just suck i think the people that will benefit from that are already rich today so yeah if you have money don't worry if you don't have money you're screwed yeah what's the best sandwich you've ever had oh i like sandwiches and the club sandwich is really nice but it's work <laughs> especially if you get the one with a bit of salad you got little fries and whatever like all sorts of stuff with it it's like a whole meal that's a delicious sandwich but it, you know your jaw hurts when you're done so to say <laughs> um, but you can always wake me up for a frying pan made grilled cheese sandwich grilled cheese or grilled ham cheese sandwich they're great as a snack, they're great during studying or work, they're great as breakfast, lunch, dinner, doesn't matter. A grilled cheese sandwich is the way to go. Uh, it never fails really unless you burn it. So, melted cheese, I mean. What do you have doubts about? Oh Jesus, can you get any more personal? You got about 15 minutes left. If I remember, it will be less than 15 minutes. I'll think about the doubts one for a little bit. I quite like a goat cheese and caramelized onion toast. A sandwich from a cafe I used to go to before lockdown. Yeah, that sounds really good. I'm not a big fan of goat cheese, but those types of sandwiches, goat cheese is really nice. That's not a bad thing then. If I ask for it and they use goat cheese to make it and it tastes great, no problem. But if I see it's made out of goat cheese, I, I tend to kind of not pick that one. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds really good. Caramelized onion toasted sandwich. That's really nice. Yeah. What do you have doubts about <laughs> goat cheese? <laughs> I have doubts about the future of my life. What the heck am I going to do with my life? But not something I'm going to share on the Twitch stream. So stay for the after party. <laughs> uh, but I have doubts about future stuff. You, you never know what your a relationship with family and friends and everything is. And things are shifting and that creates uncertainty and I don't like it. Gives me anxiety. Alright, a couple more questions and it's 15 minutes too and I can sort some other stuff out. What is your most common first thought when you wake up? No, oh, can you get any more private? Um, well, there's different. I, I have categories for first thoughts. Like, who is the first person I think of is completely different than the first thought, but it always happens in the same fraction of a second. My first thought is like, ah, oh, I think I'm actually awake. Can I fall back to sleep? And 456 says, time to go back to sleep. <laughs> so true. Um, another, oh, I got a message. Another thought that I have besides who and am I awake or not? 
is uh, more personal, I guess. It's about my bad eyes. I get daily headaches. So if I wake up, I take a moment to realize if I have such a headache or not. And if so, then I don't like that and take different approach. Over there, quickly reply to somebody totally not in private or something. Hey, psst, if you're watching and that's why you message me, <laughs> thank you. Um, all right. If you built a themed hotel, <gasps> oh my god. I mean, ah. Uh, you know back in the day when there were those cyber cafes where you could go somewhere and you could just like hey i need a computer can i play a game for a while and that sort of stuff these cyber cafes and at some point now it's like more common to just go to starbucks and just work there on your computer or whatever uh, for a while it would be kind of cool to have like a place that is just a hangout place for people, but if you don't want to go home, you can actually get a room. So some sort of technology themed hotel, that's not a bad thing, um, but it's not really a theme either. Everybody could be there, right? So um, it's not a niche a thing. So another thing is of course, a Minecraft themed hotel, would that even be something? You just imagine that everything in the hotel is made to look like in the game. Like your bed is a Minecraft bed. That's crazy. Oh, I got, I can't watch those. Um, I can't watch what somebody just sent me because it has audio and I'm on a live stream and I don't know exactly what is on the audio so I'm gonna have to wait like a couple more minutes and after the stream I'll go check I'm sorry I'm f really curious <sighs> Minecraft themed hotel as long as you don't break the end user license agreement yeah, you, you come in, you step on the pressure plate, the doors open, you go in until you're at the front desk where you press a button and it goes ding dong. And then you get like a book, like the Minecraft book and quill, right? And it says like, um, you know, just click here for accepting the end user license agreement by Bojang. <laughs> and that's how you sign into the hotel. <clears throat> oh, easy question. We're gonna ask this really fast. I'm gonna answer it really fast. Are you more of an indoors or outdoors person? Uh, indoors, duh. <laughs> next question. What are you most looking forward to in the, ex in the next 10 years? Stability in my life, mental health under control, <laughs> financially stable, you know. Enjoying basic human rights. Um, but that's all very selfish. What I'm looking for on a more global scale um, is that countries are moving forward towards less cars in the city, more um, reusable energy in the form of not oil, um, give back to nature a little bit more and maybe more countries supporting each other uh, with basic income so the countries also become more stable in that economy that is probably meant to fail and doom and whatever but um we have to be there for the other person whether they are able to have a job or not and um, hopefully all of that positivity results in better education, better upbringing, and less dickheads on the street ruining life for everybody else. All right. Would you rather go hang gliding or whitewater rafting? 
Oh, I'm scared to do both, but I want to do both so bad. I don't think my body is in the shape it should be for either of those. <laughs> Next question. What's the most ridiculous tattoo you've ever seen? Oh, dude. It's a guy that had a tattoo of a doll on his face. So every time you talk to the dude, it's like the eye of the doll is his eye and then the doll is on the left side of his face for the rest. It's like there's something wrong. Like he, it's just the weirdest. It was so ridiculous. It was so stupid. I constantly wanted to tell the dude, why, why? Look at you, why? Oh my God, no, no, that one was too much, too far. It had nothing to do with, I got a hobby, it's getting tattoos. It was just trying to provoke other people, I guess, but no. That was ridiculous. And everybody's free to do what they want. If somebody wants to walk around with a broomstick up their butt, go ahead. I don't care, but I can still think it's ridiculous. And that tattoo, was the weirdest thing I've ever seen as a tattoo. And I've seen people at these pictures, right? And especially in Amsterdam. We got people walking around in Amsterdam. Holy shit. Um, but this guy, these guys and from pictures, everybody has seen one here that uh, they have like loads of face piercings and modifications and the whole face is green from old tattoo ink and stuff. It's way too much in my opinion, but that's pretty ridiculous um, without judgment. But this guy that had just, a weird doll on his face and the eye was his eye and it was just the weirdest thing do not like what's the most nightmarish creature you can imagine so um totally random topic but has anybody seen my ex-wife like <laughs> which tv show do you want your life to be like not stranger things um, probably not The Simpsons. <gasps> Firefly. Cowboys in space. It has everything minus Planet Doom things from Star Wars. It has everything from Star Trek minus teleportation, I think. Um, and it has Cowboys in space. It's about survival and I kind of like that in games. Um, although real life should have it too. Um, that's contradicting myself in regards to like a better life and basic income for everybody. Okay, well, whatever. It's a fantasy. The other one I meant more. Oh god, time. A uh, couple more. Last couple of questions. What will be or are some of the byproducts to society of what? <laughs> what having the ability to take pictures or video at any time? Um. Well, ask me again when quantum computers can take hours or weeks to collect everything on Instagram and make a virtual 3D world that we can explore uh, versus what we can do right now. So we are at the stepping stones of even bigger things that will um, be drastic for our life. We don't even know what we're doing with the information right now. Uh, byproducts of society. Nobody gives a crap anymore. People are selfish, they're inconsiderate. It's, uh, it's, it's really sad to see. Uh, everything for a few and a like. It's stupid. What is your best one-liner? Do I have any? I don't got game. I mean, um, I'm trying to think of something. <laughs> um, no, you can't be Joey from Friends. Are you doing? <laughs> you can't beat it. It's it's the ultimate. No, I I, I don't have a one liner. Maybe just, hey, hello. How about that cup of coffee? You good? All right. 
Is suffering a necessary part of the human condition? Yes. What would people... What would people who never suffered be like? Huh. Huh. If you've never... Would you actually be at a point of... Like a higher state of... I am content? Or would they just be people with 24-7 resting bitch face? <laughs> would they just be like, I don't know what your problem is. Just try harder. Right? <laughs> you go like, oh my god, just die already. You don't know what it is like, man. I don't know. I don't think that would be fun to be around. We need more time for that question. We're down to uh, the last couple of questions here. How often do you binge watch TV shows? Uh, every week. <laughs> if I'm three episodes behind on something, I watch three episodes that night. If I'm one season behind on something, I spend a weekend watching that season. I, I binge a lot of TV. Like, TV is a thing I do. What is something that is popular now that annoys you? Memes. Everything is a fucking meme. Guy walks in a lantern. Oh, it's a meme. Somebody says something offensive on the internet. Oh, it's just a joke. I'm just memeing. I'm so tired of it. I need something nice to end with. Where is the nicest place you have been to in fall? <gasps> Oxford University in the UK. I was there in fall season. It was just hitting fall. So it was green. But everything in the trees was not green anymore. And that looked really cool. Um, yeah. I don't know any other place that I've been in the fall that was probably nicer on vacation or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, okay, that's a nice one to uh, end with. I think little shout outs as promised. Should be able to do that. Um, can I pop out? Yes. Even though these people have signed up days and weeks ago, it is still the last month. X Thames Spyhor Manor, probably a spammer. I don't know this, these people. Bispeefles 1978 as well. Why are they like name and then last name? Are these just like spam bots or something? Exitites. I, 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 you know what? I'm gonna stop doing this because I don't even know these people. Hey, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'm going to do this again, unless I keep finding out these are the same questions over and over. But I like this. And if anybody wants to ask me a question, I love questions. Just ask me. Not to help you, but to have a conversation. Yeah, all right. Thanks, everybody. I'm out of here. Bye.